Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of the French Teacher Podcast, the podcast that gives you all the basics in French. I'm your host, Julie, French teacher, and today we are talking about the verb faire in French. So buckle up and get ready to practice. The verb faire is usually translated as to do or to make, but in many common expressions it cannot be translated translated like this. It can bring confusion among the learners, so the best thing you can do is to learn those expressions that are used very often. You have probably already heard them, now it's time to practice and understand. One more piece of advice is to print the sheet sheet before, like this you would be able to practice and look at the French words to memorize easily while I'm saying these expressions. Ready? Let's go! Faire connaissance avec Faire la connaissance de To get to know someone Faire connaissance avec Faire la connaissance de You can use this expression when you meet someone for the first time, when you enter into a relationship with someone. J'ai fait la connaissance de ma nouvelle collègue ce midi. I made my new colleague at lunchtime. J'ai fait la connaissance de ma nouvelle collègue ce midi. I met my new colleague at lunchtime. Faire les courses to go shopping. Faire les courses to go shopping. We use this expression every day. We use it when we have to buy everyday essentials like food, household products, etc. Je vais faire des courses tous les samedis matin en vélo. I go shopping every Saturday morning by bike. Je vais faire des courses tous les samedis matin en vélo. I go shopping every Saturday morning by bike. Faire la grâce matinée. To sleep in. Faire la grâce matinée. To sleep in. This expression means getting up later than usual. Sleeping in is most often done at weekends or during the holidays when you are not pressed for time. Je fais toujours la grâce matinée le dimanche matin. I always sleep in on Sunday mornings. Je fais toujours la grâce matinée le dimanche matin. I always sleep in on Sunday mornings. Je n'en mets rien à faire. I couldn't care less. Je n'en mets rien à faire. I could not care less. We use this expression when we don't care about what other people say. Charles a acheté une nouvelle voiture. Je n'en ai rien à faire. Charles bought a new car. I couldn't care less. Faire attention. To be careful. Faire attention. To be careful. This expression means to take precautions, to be attentive to something. You can use this expression when you are worried and want to ask someone to act with caution. You can also use the synonym fait gaffe. Fait gaffe. In a very familiar context with your friends and family. Fais attention. Tu vas tomber. Watch out. You're going to fall. Fais attention. Tu vas tomber. Watch out, you're going to fall. Faire la route to get on the road. Faire la route to get on the road. 
This expression means to get in the car and drive. Je n'aime pas faire la route de nuit. I don't like driving at night. Je n'aime pas faire la route de nuit. I don't like driving at night. Sans faire. To worry. Sans faire. To worry. This expression means to worry, to be concerned about something or for someone. Be careful, it's a pronominal verb, to worry. And be careful, it's a pron pronominal verb, so you have to conjugate the pronoun according to the subject. Ne t'en fais pas. Ne t'en fais pas. Tu as beaucoup étudié. Tu vas réussir. Tes examens. Don't worry, you've studied hard and you're going to pass your exams. Ne t'en fais pas, tu as beaucoup étudié, tu vas réussir tes examens. Don't worry, you've studied hard and you're going to pass your exams. Faire la queue. To queue. Faire la queue. To queue. It means to line up on one behind the other to wait your turn. This expression is generally used when you are waiting your turn to enter a venue, concert, hall, cinema, or when you want to pay for something in a shop, bakery, butchers, etc. J'adore aller au théâtre, mais je n'aime pas faire la queue. I love going to the theater, but I don't like queuing. J'adore aller au théâtre, mais je n'aime pas faire la queue. I love going to the theater, but I don't like queuing. Se faire mal, to hurt yourself. Se faire mal, to hurt yourself. This is when you feel pain and that the pain is your fault. Je suis tombé et je me suis fait mal. I felt and hurt myself. Je suis tombé et je me suis fait mal. I felt and hurt myself. Faire confiance. To trust. Faire confiance. To trust. Est-ce que tu lui fais confiance? Do you trust her or him? Est-ce que tu lui fais confiance? Do you trust her or him? As you can see, there are a huge number of expressions in French that use the word faire. Part two of this podcast will be available very soon. And thank you for your listening. A bientôt. And don't forget the cheat sheet below. A resume of all these French expressions with the verb faire. Bye bye. A bientôt.